Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and I have a quick tip for you in On One Photo Raw about lens profiles and you know, making lens corrections, the barrel distortion, uh, vignetting, the types of things that our lenses just naturally introduce to a photo. And when you first go into Photo Raw, for a raw photo, by default, lens correction is turned on. I've turned it off here, but I'll turn it on, and you'll notice a subtle change in the photo. Notably, you saw it get brighter around the edges, and the horizon got straightened out a little bit. Some of that distortion disappeared. You know, before, kind of watch right along here for that distortion, and after, that's what Lens Corrections is doing for us. And most of the time, Photo Raw will detect from the EXIF data in your photo what lens is on the camera and apply that profile. We open up the Lens Corrections area. Probably looks like this when you first open it up. I'm going to expand manual uh, purposely here. And you see it detected that I had this lens on the camera when I took this photo. And it filled these things in, and I can choose to override them. Well, sometimes you've got a lens that is either so new that it's not necessarily part of Photo Raw and you need to do some manual things, um, or you may have a very old lens or uh, what I'll describe as a dumb lens that doesn't communicate EXIF data and so the RAW file doesn't have lens information. Well, what can you do? I've seen a couple scenarios here. Sometimes there is a lens that Photo Raw knows about, but for some reason it's not being detected. So the first thing to do is open up the make and look for the make of your lens. I was talking with another photographer, they had a Sony lens, and it wasn't being automatically detected when we opened up the area uh, in here. It was here, I think it was this lens right here. So selecting that, now on this photo it's going to look very strange because this is a very different lens profile than my default lens. I'll go back to auto here. If you do not have a make and model in there, you can open up manual and you can make all these adjustments yourselves. I'm going to like increase distortion so you, you know you watch that bowing happening where the sides are getting stretched out, the horizon is getting a little bit curved. You would do this to kind of straighten out a horizon, play around with the fall off. This is for your vignetting, so some of the natural vignetting that can get added to a lens. You can fix that up with this. The midpoint would change like kind of where that transition happens, you know, just like the vignette tool, really. Uh, if you have to do any type of chromatic aberration, you know, the purple or red, green, you know, uh, types of fringing, we get around high contrast areas. You can adjust all those things here. But the, the trick that I want to share with you is once you've done all that, chances are you have a bunch of photos that you have photographed with that lens. Well, you don't want to do this every single time. One of the things that people do will is create a preset to apply that. I actually prefer to create a style that's in the lens corrections area. It just makes it easier for me to access. Right here in style for default. Let's let's go ahead. I'll, I'll make a, a, a token little change here so I'd be able to detect this being differently. I've brightened up the edges a little bit, changed the distortion a little bit. In style, I can save this as a new style. I can give it some kind of name. And uh, let me just call it Scott's uh, Sony FE 16-35mm f4. I'll save that. And now the next time I open up a photo, I'll have that choice right here. I won't need to go in and find the lens and the, the make and so forth. I won't have to adjust any of these settings. I'll change that back to auto. I can choose my preset and notice I've got my values dialed in there. So a style within the lens corrections panel in develop, it's a really good way to save any types of lenses that for whatever reason aren't being auto detected by Photo Raw. Hope you found this useful. Got questions about photography? Drop them in the comments below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.